Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Rams TV. Hi, I'm Richard Thomas, and we're at the gymnasium tonight for our first look at our varsity volleyball team. We got an opportunity to see football action last Thursday night in your varsity football team getting the win over St. Edward School in a tough game that went down to the wire. Um, your Rams able to get a late score in the third quarter to go on and beat uh, rival St. Edward School to get the victory. But tonight, it's all about varsity girls volleyball. And as the introductions are taking place right now, we want to thank you for logging on to Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School right here in Fort Pierce, Florida. If you want to learn more about our school, be sure to visit us on the web at www.johncarrollhigh.com. Again, that's www.johncarrollhigh.com. Thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School. The introductions taking place right now. We're going to have varsity volleyball action in just a few. Hang with us right here on the FHS AA Network. And the introductions are done, and we're ready for varsity volleyball action here on Rams TV. Again, we thank you for logging on. If you've logged on to FHSAASports.com slash John Carroll, we appreciate you. If you're watching via YouTube or if you want to tell somebody they can watch via YouTube, be sure that, uh, to tell them that they can go to YouTube.com, and all they need to do is type in the title of this broadcast. That will be Martin County High School versus John Carroll High School, and they can watch live on YouTube from their mobile device or mobile phone. Rams TV, take it anywhere you are. So the teams are out on the court. They're doing their signature handshakes. You see that a lot in varsity girls action. Some of these girls take those handshakes from club ball all the way here in season. But we're excited to have varsity volleyball action here on Rams TV to start the year off. I got an opportunity to speak with the head coach of our varsity Rams as the varsity or uh, as the student section gets a little loud over to my right. But I had an opportunity to speak with our head coach and what she's looking at of the team in this volleyball matchup is just consistency. She wants to see the team playing hard. She wants to see an up-tempo uh, beat to all the girls on the court and looking to come out of this Match with Martin County with a victory. So set to serve. Mariah McKinney, Minke, sorry about that, set to serve. Good service, well within. Here comes a free ball from Martin County. The set outside, and that'll be put away for John Carroll Point. It's 1-0, to zero. Rams set. Minke set to serve again. Another good service picked up by the libero. And a free ball from John Carroll. We'll see what Martin can do with it. It goes to the mid. Block is there. But Jess nicks the far right line. And we're tied up here, one all. Game number one. For those of you who don't know, varsity girls volleyball, they play a best of five. So game one here. As we have a substitution in for number four for Martin County, it'll be number 22, and she'll go back to serve. Service clips the net, but dug up nicely. Good swing there at the net, and can't handle it. Though That's a good return from Minke, who sort of had the, the initial dig by the libero was great. Pancaked it right off the ground. And getting it up for a point, so set to serve. Kaylin Evans there with a nice strong serve. They can't handle it, no return. John Carroll point, three to one early here in game number one.
Evans will go back to serve again. Serves the libero, unable to handle it, picked up nicely. Here comes another free ball. From the back line, good swing, picked up nicely by Martin County. And the John Carroll defense, unable to handle that one after it goes off of John Carroll and out of bounds. Three to two, your score. And unfortunately, I don't have a roster for Martin County, but number six back to serve for the Tigers. Good service right down the middle, unable to handle the first pass, and we're tied up three to three. Student section really loud over to my right. That's got to be a good thing if you're a, a home player. And the service sails long. That's good court awareness as that ball sails out of bounds. And four to three as number 15, Treasure Ingram, goes back to serve. Good service by Ingram. And a free ball. We'll see what John Carroll can do with it. Ingram with the first pass. And that one sails into the net. So John Carroll mishandling that free ball. Unable to make anything happen there. Point will go to Martin County. Martin County now set to serve. Good service. A low liner picked up nicely. Free ball from John Carroll. Set outside, blocks there, good. John Carroll point, and it's the block, the defense, that gets the point for John Carroll. Back to serve now is senior number 14, Mariah Davis. And Davis' serve sails just a little wide, and we're tied up again. So far, been a back and forth, neither team asserting themselves just yet. And there's the service from Martin County. The kill attempt goes off the tip of the, the block. And John Carroll goes to the middle, tip. And it just not, just nicking the top of the net there and not getting over, had a great idea. The block was there, but trying to tip it just over the block. And it clips the net. Martin County now with the lead. Back to the mid, scoops it over. And that shot sailing out of bounds. Martin County with a two-point lead now, five to seven here early in game number one. So that short serve has worked well for Martin County. And the John Carroll defense, I just spoke of it, they sort of tried to come up to play that short serve. And that, that service went a little deep, played it, uh, misplayed it off of her hand, so that first pass going out of bounds. So eight to five now, John Carroll with some work to do. Miscommunication on the court, and Coach Nancy Hopper gonna go right to the timeout to see if she can regroup her team. Again, you're watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. We thank you for logging on via FHSAASports.com or via YouTube. Thank you for supporting our varsity girls volleyball team and our school. If you want to learn more about the school, be sure to visit JohnCarrollHigh.com. Again, that's www.JohnCarrollHigh.com. Archive footage will be available of this broadcast and many other broadcasts by going to FHSAASports.com slash John Carroll. Again, that's FHSAASports.com slash John Carroll. And you can watch archive footage of this broadcast, last Thursday's football game, and many other broadcasts throughout the year by logging on there. So out of the timeout, we'll see if our Rams, our Lady Rams, can sort of settle down here, refocus, and get back in this game. So far, it's been a close game, but um, the Tigers of Martin County have sort of asserted themselves here in sort of the midway through this game one, nine to five, your score. This set and the kill comes from the back line off the block, picked up nicely by Martin County. They're gonna go outside with the shot, dug up nicely by your Rams. And yes, the kill, good Rams point. 
So a little back and forth there, but the Rams able to put it away. And going back to serve will be another senior, number one, Elena Garcia, now back to serve for your Rams. Garcia with a nice serve, first pass, a little tough, but picked up. And the kill from the outside rides the net a little bit away from the block and drops down 10 to six year score. John Carroll with a substitution, bringing in senior Carla Metamoris. Here comes the service from Martin County. The set up, miss sets it a little bit. And uh, for those of you who can see or you may not be able to see Coach Nancy Hopper kind of with her hands up, not knowing what happened there. It was sort of a, a lackluster series there for your Lady Rams. Blocked by Martin County. Block again by Martin County. And a tip from John Carroll. Good defense there by your Rams. Set back door, tries the cut shot, and that one goes out of bounds. It's 7-11 to 11 now. As number four, Rachel Wendell goes back to serve for your Lady Rams. Good service and for an ace. A Rams ace. It's 8-11. And Wendell again on serve. And that one just missing it. If you saw it in the left-hand part of your screen, just missing uh, the tail line there. So substitution by Martin County. Number 21 now in, and she'll go back to serve. And John Carroll cut into that lead a little bit. It's 8-12 to 12 now. Tiger set to serve. First pass picked up nicely. The set to the mid. And not a lot of effort on that as that ball gets hit right into the net by number four, Rachel Wendell. And it's 13, serving eight now. Martin County with the lead. Service picked up. And Coach Nancy Halper quickly, again, back to the timeout. Just she sees exactly what we see, a little bit of lackluster play, a little unfocused from the team right now and we'll see if she can sort of talk him up um, on that last play what you saw is that first pass tried to play it like a tip and it went straight through our hands there you definitely want to see a bump pass there so that the setter can get under it nicely and set the ball up uh, for a kill so timeout now by John Carroll that's their second timeout And they have three timeouts remaining as they quickly come back on to the court. 14 to eight year score as you see on the screen, Martin County on serve. So service for Martin County. First pass picked up, miscommunication again on the part of John Carroll. And it's hit out of bounds. So a lot of question marks right now. Out of the Lady Rams, see if they can sort of get things together there. First pass again, unable to handle it. And it's 16 to eight now, Martin County starting to pull away a little bit. Good service there, picked up nicely. The set back, good swing, yes, tip. Out of bounds, 9 to 16, as the Rams make a substitution. In and set to serve is senior number 12, Morgan Whitley. Good service there by Morgan. The set outside, off the block, but dug up nicely, but kind of took an awkward spin. Good effort there by your Lady Rams, and it's 17 to 9 here in game number one. Tigers with a substitution now back in number 22, and she'll go back to serve. 
You can see Coach Nancy Hopper sort of pacing the sideline. In the ear of her team, the set goes back door. Good swing. And they can't handle it. So what we've seen so far is when John Carroll can get a good swing on the ball, they're putting it away for points. But got to string together points here as number two, Kaelin Evans, goes back to serve. Good service, sails long, and I just spoke about it. You get that kill, you got to string a couple of them together if you want to get down by eight now. The Lady Rams are 18 to 10. Set to serve the libero number six. And a nice floater. Kind of awkwardly return. The set goes back door. And the block there by the Rams. And we'll get a free ball. And just not coming up. She kind of reached out for it there. You want to see her slide her feet up under that one and bump that one up 19 to 10. And a Libero, number six, back to serve one more time. Mishandles that one. And it goes out of bounds. And Martin County High School, the first to 20 here in game number one. Martin County set for service. And a free pass from John Carroll. The set goes outside. The tip there picked up nicely. It was dug up nicely by senior Morgan Whitley. But unable to get it back over. 21 to 10. Now your score, game number one. And the libero for Martin County back to serve again. Good service. Picked up nicely by John Carroll. The play starts. Good swing. Tips the net. And good defense by Martin County. Free ball coming over. And that first pass played a little close to the net. An easy kill. Or block, however you want to look at that one, from Martin County. And it's 22 to 10 here in game number one. So this game started off really, really close, but Martin County of late, sort of midway through the game, started to assert themselves mainly by those unforced errors from John Carroll. And if you're a Rams fan, you want to see more kills like that. Again, when they put the ball away, our Lady Rams really put the ball away. We just got to be consistent with it. But consistency has sort of been the Achilles heel for John Carroll here in game number one. Those unforced errors got to be eliminated. And what we've seen, what we haven't seen much of is Martin County sort of making an unforced error there. Miscommunication there as the service comes and just drops straight to the ground for John Carroll point. Ingram back to serve again, sort of misfires that one off of her hand straight into the net. She'll go to the bench as a libero number nine. Christy Noonan back in for your Rams. Martin County on service. Dug up nicely. The block from John Carroll. There. Point. 13-23. Good effort there from number four, senior Rachel Wendell. Getting her hands up high. Going back to serve for John Carroll. Be number 14, Mariah Davis. Davis on serve, good serve, first pass, nice. Set, goes to the mid, kind of scooped up back and over. Here's an opportunity for John Carroll. The set, back line, good swing, too much on it. It goes out of bounds, 25 to 13. The final score, actually, I'm a little, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. The score is 24 to 13. And sort of missed time, the jump there. The set goes outside. And there it is, your final score, 25 to 14. So game number one. Game number one goes to Martin County, 25 to 13. 
Again, we want to thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. So game number one comes to an end. And we're heading into game number two. We thank you for logging on and watching, supporting our school and its varsity girls volleyball team. Varsity volleyball action back here in just a few on the FHSAA network and Rams TV. Thanks for logging on. Hang with us. Richard Thomas back here on Rams TV. We're getting ready for game number two as the teams prepare to get back on the court. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Our JV volleyball team in action tonight just up the road. We'll get an update from that game later on. So game number one comes to a close, and it's Martin County who got the win of that game, 25-13. to 13. What we saw late in the game from your Lady Rams were a lot of unforced errors, and unfortunately those unforced errors led to points. And John Carroll unable to capitalize. And here we are set to go in... Game number two. And because of the close proximity between both these schools, a bit of a rivalry game. The student sections are wide and a good swing there from John Carroll on the outside. Picked up nicely. And a lackluster tip shot there, goes for no point. And now the score, 2-0. And Martin County now set to serve. 
service. Sales just long. John Carroll points, so they're now on the board. Score two to one. John Carroll now with a substitution. Now in the game will be number 12, Morgan Whitley, and she'll go back to serve for your Lady Rams. Good service there from Whitley, and it sails wide. And Martin County will go back to serve. It's three to one. Good service there, picked up nicely by John Carroll. The set to the mid, tipped over. Nice dig outside, looking for a big swing. Picked up nicely by Martin County. Good tip. Both teams playing good defense now. And the tip and John Carroll. Garcia. Saw her sliding in, trying to pancake that one and get that one back up. It's 4-1, to one, and early Martin County has taken a slight lead here, and they're now on serve. An awkward first pass. Kept into play nicely by John Carroll. The set goes outside, big swing, and the net violation on John Carroll. So definitely got to clean up the play if you're a Rams Player, we've seen a lot, a lot of unforced errors. Can't stress it enough. Those have hurt the team. When the team gets in and runs the offense, they've been right in this game. So a service error there on the part of Martin County. And the score, 5-2, to two, as number two senior, Kaelin Evans, goes back to serve. Good service by Evans. Set outside. The block there. Unable to be returned by Martin County. And it's the John Carroll block that comes up big again. And Evans will go back to serve one more time. We're at game number two. Martin County took game number one. If you're just joining us, 25 to 13. Good service there by Evans. They are unable to handle it. And it's five to four through the service. John Carroll back in this game. A lot of seniors on this John Carroll varsity team. Kaylin Evans, one of those seniors as she goes back to serve. The set, good swing, and unable to be picked up. And it's six to four. Martin County with a slight lead as their libero, number six, goes back to serve. Service by Martin County. The set goes outside. Good swing. Picked up nicely. Free ball from John Carroll. The set to the mid. Right into the block. And point John Carroll. 7-4. to four. As number 10 sophomore. Mary Beth Boudros. Goes to serve. Swing goes out of bounds. And we have a tie ball game here in game number two. Boudreaux. Set to serve. John Carroll ace. So John Carroll taking their first lead of game. Of game number two. And the swing there sails wide. A good dig there, unable to be pancaked up. And Martin County will go back to serve with a two point lead at seven and nine, your score. And that service goes into the net. And another tight matchup. But here's the point where we saw the match sort of turn in game number one. Right around this mark 
sort of midway through. And we'll see if John Carroll can sort of keep up the play. We've gone back and forth. And that one, no return. And we're tied up again, nine to nine. Good service there by John Carroll. The set goes outside and unable to get that one back up and over. John Carroll gets the point in Martin County. Going to call the first time out here in game number two. So we've seen pretty consistent play out of John Carroll. And they have the lead 10 to 9 as Martin County sort of takes the first time out here in game number two. Hang with us here on Rams TV. So for those of you who are just joining us, we thank you and we pardon that interruption. Some technical difficulties that we've had to deal with. But pardon the interruption in our broadcast, but Martin County took a timeout there. And no return from Martin County. And it's 11 to nine, so John Carroll pulling away just a little bit. Again, we saw this in game number one. We'll see if they can keep it up. And the service sails long. 10 to 11 the score. Martin County with a substitution into the game. Number four back to serve, number 25. Good service, first pass picked up nicely. The set to the mid, good swing. And it drops in for a point. Rams point, 12 to 10 your score. And back to serve will be senior. Elena Garcia and her service sails wide. As we've got substitutions on both sides. In for your Rams will be number six, senior Carlo Matamoros. As the service comes from Martin County. The set, Matamoros could swing. Picked up nicely by Martin County. They're set outside. Big swing. And unable to get that one. Number 18 putting that one away for Martin County. We're tied up here. 12 all in game number two. Service there from Martin County. Picked up nicely. Set outside. Tip shot. Want to look for a swing there. And Martin County comes back with a tip of their own. From the mid, tip, diving save there, and a free ball. We'll see if John Carroll can capitalize. The set again to the mid, a block there by Martin County. Set goes outside now. Good swing and good defense from Martin County. And the swing from the outside, sails wide. And excitement from Coach Nancy Hopper as she caught some air on that one a little bit. Good Court position by our team. She's been stressing that on the sidelines. And your Rams back to serve. That's number four, Rachel Wendell. Set from the back, picked up nicely. Set goes back to her, good swing. And yes, good effort there at the net. That's number seven, Mariah McKinney. Minke, sorry about the pronunciation there. But John Carroll, 14 to 12 now your score. Two point lead early or midway through this game number two. Set goes, big swing outside, just sails long. 15 to 12 now your score. And the service sails long, a little strong. Nonetheless, John Carroll able to string together a few points there 
15 to 13, your score. And I'm not sure if you can hear, but the student sections of both teams, very, very loud, set. Big swing off the block, but picked up nicely by Martin County. Free pass. Backdoor John Carroll. And Jess catching what they call in the beach volleyball, volleyball world, dead man's corner. Nobody there, couldn't catch up with it. 15 to 14, your score. Martin County now back to serve. Good service, first pass, nice, set, good swing, drops in for a point. She's excited about it. That's number four, senior Rachel Wendell, as she puts that one away from the back line. John Carroll, kill, and set to serve, number 12, Morgan Whitling. And the officials not ready for service there as Martin County was set to serve. I mean, <laughs> Martin County was making a substitution. Whitley now will go back to serve for the Lady Rams. Good service. John Carroll ace, 17 to 14. And good consistent play out of your Lady Rams. That's what we were stressing in that game number one, and they're making it happen right here. Whitley back to serve again. That one just tipped in the net. Make it two in a row. John Carroll ace, 18 to 14 now your score. Whitley again on serve and that one sails a little long but we'll take two in a row any day. 18 to 14 your score. So John Carroll has sort of positioned themselves to sort of hold on to this game. So we want to see good solid defense so they can hold on to this one, be that first to 20. The set goes outside, good swing through the block. John Carroll point, 19 to 15. And your Lady Rams have come alive here in game number two. 19 to 15, your score. And the service sails into the net. Martin County now set to serve. Picked up nicely by John Carroll. The set goes. Tip. Good swing, almost pancaked up. But Coach Nancy Hopp are going to call a timeout late in this game. We definitely want to see. If the Rams can get a, uh, getting a win in this game, very, very crucial. Again, as we said in our pregame, it's a best of five. John Carroll losing game number one, 25 to 13. They kind of fell apart there late in game number one, but have played good volleyball here in game number two. 19 to 17, your score. Looking for solid play here to sort of hold on to the lead. Only a two-point lead, but definitely opportunity for the Rams to get out of this game with a victory. Martin County on serve. Dug up nicely. The set goes, tip deep into the corner, and it looked like it was in, but it sails wide, 18 to 19. So this one looks like it's gonna come down to the wire, we're tight now. Only up by one point as Martin County goes back to serve. Tigers on serve there. First pass blocked at the net but picked up nicely by John Carroll. Free ball. Martin County set outside. And that one out of bounds and we're tied up here late. 19 all. We saw good defense during that rally, but unfortunately the ball hitting the elements and being called out of bounds. Set goes outside, big swing. 
And unable to catch up with it, John Carroll Point and your Lady Rams, the first to 20. We'll see if they can close this match out. Just five more points to go. Set to serve, number 10, Mary Boudra. And that service goes out of bounds. We're tied up here, 20 all. Dug up nicely. The set goes into the middle. Off the block, but scooped up from the Tigers. The tip shot. Good defense there from your Rams. The set again outside. Good swing. Right down the line. John Carroll point, 21 to 20. Good ball placement on that kill as it goes right down the line. Your Rams with a substitution. Mariah Minke in. And with your service there, number 14, Mariah Davis. And the kill attempt from Martin County goes into the net. John Carroll with a two-point lead. Every point crucial here once you hit that 20-point mark. And it's Martin County who calls another timeout as your Rams looking really good late. And that's what you want to see. Consistent play down the stretch. It'll take you into a victory. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. Archive footage available of this broadcast and many other broadcasts throughout the year. Just go to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Again, that's fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. You can watch archive footage all season long and catch Lady Rams volleyball throughout the year. A lot of matches we'll have here on Rams TV. But out of the timeout, Rams on serve, 22 to 20, your score. Set back line, block, picked up nicely. And John Carroll unable to catch up with that one, but good effort there, 21 to 20. I said it earlier, this one looks like it's gonna come down to just a few points. Martin County set to serve. First pass, nice. Set, kill, good, 23-21. And a nice, big, aggressive swing from senior Rachel Wendell. She puts that one away. There was no doubt on that shot. The set into the middle, goes out of bounds, unforced error, 24-20. to 20. And here we go, just one point. As the student section starts yelling one more point, that's all they need, 24 to 21. Service, low liner. Here comes the pass from back line, scooped up nicely. The set, big swing, and it's in. John Carroll takes game number two, 25 to 21. And so what we saw there, what we didn't see in game number two was nice, strong, consistent play down the stretch. They had their moments, a sort of a peaks and valleys type situation, but John Carroll late in that game number two asserted themselves. We didn't see the unforced errors, and John Carroll, although it was tight, gets the win in game number two. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. If you want to learn more about our school, be sure to visit us on the web at www.johncarrollhigh.com. Com. Again, that's www.johncarrollhyde.com. You can also get to Rams TV through the Rams TV link on that home page. So be sure to visit us there. And be sure to log on and watch Rams TV all season long. Archive footage available at fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. You can watch this game. You can watch last Thursday's football game right here on Rams TV. I'm Richard Thomas. I'll be here with you throughout the year. And we'll have other voices of Rams TV throughout the year. But we're excited to get varsity girls volleyball action here on Rams TV for the first time this season. So as they switch positions on the court, each team with one game apiece, we're going to take a break here on Rams TV. Hang with us, varsity girls volleyball action back in just a few.
Richard Thomas back here on Rams TV. We're getting ready to start game number three after an exciting, tight game number two. And John Carroll will start with service. And that one is called out. The lines woman, linesman, however you want to call that, <laughs> called it in. But the stand official called that one out. So a point will go to Martin County, and they'll go back to serve. First pass, nice, goes into the mid, off the block. And the official calls that one down. Point, John Carroll. Tied up one-to-one -one here in game number three. Back on service is number two, Kalen Evans. Set goes outside. Block there. But it goes out of bounds off of the block. You want to see those hands go up and sort of turn back into play, but unfortunately that one goes through the block. Good effort on the swing. Back to serve for Martin County. Will be there libero, number six. Nice rainbow service there. The set outside. Good swing. And it just goes out of bounds. Looking for a tip there. Don't get it. Three to one, your score. And both these teams have played tight in all two games so far. I said two like there was a lot, but two games so far here. We're in the third game now. But both teams have been playing really tough. And a miss swing there from the back line. And it's four to one early here in game number three. Service, sails long, good court awareness. You want to have that when you're on the back line. And the libero comes in for your Lady Rams senior, Christy Noonan. And she'll go back to serve. Good service from Noonan. The set goes back door. Tip shot in for a point. Takes a nice sneak pink. At the defense, that senior, Rachel Wendell, sort of been uh, the rock of the team here. She's played well, real consistent, killed the ball nicely. Good tip there, though, from her. Coming off the breaks. The John Carroll block was there, unable to catch up as that one goes off the block and down and in. And just as I was just saying a little while ago, you can see Coach Nancy Hopper on the sideline tell him to get those hands up and sort of turn back into play. Nonetheless, 5-3 to three your score. Back on service there. Good save there. And that one hits the antenna out of bounds. 6-3 to three your score. We saw John Carroll come back a little bit in game number two. We'll see if they can pull that off again. Service from John Carroll. Correction from Martin County. John Carroll swing outside. Just catches the back corner in for Lady Rams point. And back to serve will be senior number 14, Mariah Davis. And with the tip there, senior Rachel Wendell puts another one away for your Lady Rams. And now John Carroll only down by a point. Good swing there. The set goes outside. And there's their key player, number 12. Again, my apologies. We don't have rosters for Martin County. But uh, number 12, when she's gotten up, she can really put the ball away. So if you're a Rams fan, you don't want to see her come alive. She's been playing pretty consistent. John Carroll there. There's our consistent player. Coming up big once again. That number four, Rachel Wendell, as she puts another one away for John Carroll. Now back to serve, Elena Garcia. Seven to six, your score. 
Service in. Caught up nicely. The set goes outside. And it just nicks the baseline. As John Carroll makes the substitution, back in the game will be number six, Carla Matamoros. And set to serve will be the uh, number six for Martin County. So still well within this game. And sort of a lackluster tip there, unable to get over. Service grouped up. The set goes outside, looking for a kill there. Picked up nicely. Oh, good defense there by John Carroll. So the pass goes nice. They go back door now. Cut shot just goes wide. And the point goes to Martin County of late, who's sort of pulling away here. Six to ten. Now your score. Service in. The set backside. Good shot. That one hit the ground. Seven to ten. John Carroll not letting this one get away. They're hanging around with it. Substitution for Martin County. Back to serve. Will be number four, Rachel Wendell. Good service there by Rachel. A one-timer comes back. The set goes outside. Big swing. And it goes out of bounds. So the swings are there. Just got to get on top of that ball to get that ball sort of going down. As number 14, Mariah Davis, hits that one and it sails out of bounds. Definitely want to get on top of that ball with some nice force to get it going down once it clears the net. The set goes back. Wendell, good swing on that one. Picked up nicely by the John Carroll defense. Again, tip shot, and it drops in. Good court awareness. We're just seeing where the defenders are on the court and found an empty space in the back corner, and it's 8-11 to 11 here. As number 12, Morgan Whitley will go back to serve for John Carroll. Good service there. Set to the mid. Defense there for your Lady Rams. Yes! Big swing. I'll give you one guess who it is. Senior, number four, Rachel Wendell puts another one down for John Carroll. From the back line this time, she gets it done. And you can't stress enough, she's sort of been the backbone of the team so far in this match. Block there for John Carroll. Unfortunately, that one goes out of bounds. They're there. Just got to tweak that positioning a little bit. Get that hand up. Get that ball going back inside the. Uh, and it's 9 to 12, your score. The set, backside. Good cut shot swing in for John Carroll Point. 10 to 12, and the Lady Rams slowly starting to creep back into this one. As we have a substitution on the court, Elena Garcia now. Back in the game, set to serve will be Mariah Minky. The set outside. Blocks there. Good defense there by the Rams. Comes over. And a free ball. Big swing from the back line, and that one goes out of bounds. And that's uh, number two, Kaylin Evans. With a swing there, unfortunately, that one sails wide. And it's 13 to 10, your score, as Martin County goes back to serve. Martin County with service, a low liner, one timer gets over. And an easy block at the net for Martin County. 14 to 10, your score. As number six goes back to serve, 10 to 14. Your score, Martin County with a slight lead here, but John Carroll still well within this game. First pass, picked up nicely, goes outside. And the elements sort of bring that one back in to play. And another easy block at the net for Martin County. 
And Coach Nancy Hopper going to call a timeout here. About midway through game number three, both teams have won a game each. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School and Fort Pierce, Florida. Archive footage available by going to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Again, that's fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Be sure to visit us on the web at www.johncarrollhigh.com. Again, that's www.johncarrollhigh.com. And you can click on the Rams TV link there. Learn more about our school. Schedule a campus tour today. Uh, admission and enrollment still open and available. So that's www.johncarrollhigh.com. And you can call our admissions team and schedule your campus tour today. As I just said before the timeout, each team has won one game in this match. It's 10 to 15 here in game number three, Martin County with a slight lead over your Lady Rams. Martin County now going back to serve. And a good service there. The set goes back door, John Carroll. And the block goes out of bounds. Point John Carroll, 11 to 15. So a nice effective swing there from Treasure Ingram. And John Carroll will go back to serve. And it just sneaks in. Thought it was going out of bounds. John Carroll Ace. So 12 to 15, a little bit of work for the Lady Rams to do here. And that one sails wide. Martin County will make a substitution as they go back to serve. Good service there. Pick, almost picked up <laughs> by your Lady Rams. But 17 to 12, and now we're at that point in the match where it's kind of crunch time. Martin County approaching that 20-point mark. And a short serve there. Point goes to John Carroll. And you got to make something happen now. Only down by four. And there it is right there on service. 14-17 the score now. This is the time to sort of get back in the game. Good service. Again, unable to handle it. Two in a row. John Carroll point. And Martin County going to call a timeout. And just like that, your Lady Rams are back in this match. 15 to 17, your score. If they can sort of play some more consistent volleyball, we can see a tie game. And we've seen a lot of that in this matchup uh, throughout both the games that have been played so far. But again, 17 to 15 year score. We've seen a couple of back-to-back -back points from John Carroll through the service. So we'll see what kind of adjustments the coaches from Martin County will make. We'll see what Nancy Hopper has to say to her team to sort of keep that consistent play up. Only down by two points here. So an opportunity to sort of tie the ball game up and sort of make something happen. So we're out of the timeout. Coach Nancy Hopper breaks the huddle. Service good, first pass goes back door. Off the block, picked up nicely, good defense. Set goes outside now. Good scoop up there at the net. Set again, outside, good swing. Picked up nicely by Martin County. The set in the middle. The libero there, set again. Picked up. Ooh, you! <laughs> so a good rally going on right here. And it's a net violation that sort of breaks it up. 15 to 18 the score. 
as Martin County goes back to serve. And sort of that first pass going, well, the first pass going all the way to the net. Easy block there from Martin County. 19 to 15, a little bit of a hole now for the Lady Rams. Can easily get out of it. Here comes a set outside. The swing goes right into the net. That number seven, Mariah Minke. And Coach Nancy Hopper going to call a timeout as Martin County is a first to 20 here in game number three as they were in game number one. 20 to 15, some work to do. John Carroll down by five points. Looking to get back in this game number three. Richard Thomas here with you on Rams TV. Our first look at the varsity girls volleyball team here on Rams TV. Archive footage available by going to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. If you'd like to purchase a DVD copy of this broadcast, be sure to email ramstv at johncarrollhigh.com. Again, email ramstv at johncarrollhigh.com, and you can get a reproduced copy of this broadcast and any other Rams TV broadcast. So out of the timeout by Coach Nancy Hopper. Her team down by five. Here comes the service from Martin County. The set, backside, tip shot. And a lift violation, point John Carroll. So back to serve will be senior Elena Garcia. Good service by Garcia. And the tip shot picked up nicely. The set scooped up nicely, picked, tipped back over by John Carroll. Swing with the blocks there. And yeah, John Carroll point. That's number two. Keelan Evans with a big block there. A crucial block, 17 to 20. Now your score. Good service. Good defense by John Carroll. Scooped up off the net, set goes outside, tip shot. And a four-hit violation by John Carroll. Sorry, folks out there, I wasn't counting. 20 to 17, your score. Martin County with the lead. Set goes, swing, yeah, tip shot out of bounds. John Carroll point. 18 to 21, your score. Treasure Ingram in the game now for your Lady Rams. As number four, Rachel Wendell goes back to serve, 18-21. Good service by Wendell. Set goes back line, block there, good! Treasure Ingram comes into the game, makes her presence felt right away with a big block, 19-21. Good service there. Yes, unable to handle it. 20 to 21. Will we see the timeout? Yes, we will see a timeout from Martin County. As the defense from John Carroll carrying the offense and only down by one here on Rams TV. So good play from your Lady Rams. We have saw a block. We've seen them with good serve series. John Carroll playing good volleyball right now and Again, it's good volleyball down the stretch late in the games that have been carrying your Lady Rams. Only down by a point. We'll see if they can pick it up here and sort of ride that wave, that momentum late in the game all the way to another victory here in game number three. So out of the timeout, senior Rachel Wendell will go back to serve. Here comes the service, and that one sails out of bounds. Twenty two to twenty. Service by Martin County. A low liner picked up. Swing off the block. Martin County able to scoop it up. Goes outside with it. And that one goes out of bounds. A missed swing there from Rachel Wendell and 23 to 20. 
Martin County pulling away a little bit. Your Lady Rams down by three now. Got to make a move. Got to make it now. Set. Tip shot. Gets over. And that shot gets in 24 to 20. And just as we saw a little bit of life, the Martin County coach calls a timeout and their team sort of storms back and strings together a couple of points. They are set to serve now. And the service goes out of bounds, so maybe life again for your Lady Rams. Down by three points. And here comes your service from Morgan Whitley. Set outside. Off the John Carroll block. Tip shot. Good timely tip by John Carroll. Down by two. 22. 24. As Morgan Whitley goes back to serve. Yes, ace, 23-24. We've got a match on our hands here. Morgan goes back to serve again. Good service, picked up nicely by Martin County. They set outside, off the block. The dig is there by John Carroll. Here comes the offense, swing outside, off the block. And a tip shot gets in for a point. And Martin County High School takes game number three. But we saw good, consistent play down the stretch from your Lady Rams. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. Archive footage available by going to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Again, that's FHSAASports.com forward slash John Carroll. You can watch archive footage of this broadcast and many other broadcasts all season long. If you'd like a reproduced copy of this broadcast, be sure to email RamsTV at JohnCarrollHigh.com. Again, that's RamsTV at JohnCarrollHigh.com, and you can get your copy of this broadcast today. I'm Richard Thomas. Hang with us on Rams TV back in a few.
Richard Thomas back here on Rams TV. Game number four, Martin County High School. With a two games to one lead over your Lady Rams. And it's Martin County who starts the game on serve. The set goes outside, good swing. And it just goes wide. And Martin County's on the board first. Martin County on serve, picked up nicely. And just off of the block, John Carroll point. Ram substitution into the game is number 12, Morgan Whitley. Picked up nicely, the set goes outside. And just kind of reaching out for that when it looked like it was going out of bounds. A number four, Rachel Window sort of reaching out for it just off her fingertips and out of bounds. First pass, nice set goes backside off the block. And it sneaks in for a point, two to two. We're tied up here early in game number four. That point gets in. And a lift violation there from John Carroll. Two to four, your score as Martin County goes back for service. Service goes into the net, John Carroll point. And that one going out of bounds. Set from John Carroll, tip shot. Strong at the net. And a block from number 14, Mariah Davis. And John Carroll point, we're tied up, five all. Coach Nancy Hopper with a substitution as Davis goes back to serve. Set outside. And in position for that one was Davis unable to get underneath that one to get it going back up. And Martin County takes another lead. The score, six to five. Seven to five, your score. Martin County with the lead. And the service goes into the net, John Carroll point. It's now tied up seven all. Back for service. Set goes outside. 
Goes off the antenna out of bounds. And the point goes. Set goes outside for Martin County. Picked up nicely by John Carroll. Two players collide. Outside, big swing. And off the block, and it comes back into play. Seven to eight, your score. After the block, free ball coming from John Carroll. Outside, rides the net and sneaks down in for a point. Seven to nine, your score. Set goes. Yes! And number four, Rachel Wendell puts it away for another John Carroll point, and it's eight to nine here early in game number four. Good effort there, keeping that ball into play. The set goes to the middle. And a lift violation from the chair official. Didn't really like that call. And Treasure. Ingram hits that ball off of the block. John Carroll point. 10 to nine, your score. Good service there from Morgan. Free ball comes up. Good pass up, goes outside with it. Tip shot of her own. And good effort, she got a hand on that one. And we're tied up again, 10 all. And a good service there by Morgan. Good effort there from the Martin County player. That low line serve, we've seen it from her a couple of times. Number, senior number 12. Morgan Whitley back to serve again with a one-point lead now for the Lady Rams. Set goes outside for Martin County. A cut shot down on the net. The set goes back line. Picked up nicely by Martin County. Swing goes into the net. John Carroll point. And 13 to 10 your score. And the head coach from Martin County going to call a timeout as John Carroll has a two-point lead here early, just about midway through game number four. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. As I've said many times throughout the broadcast, archive footage available by going to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Again, that's fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. Archive footage of this broadcast and many other broadcasts throughout the year be sure to visit us and check it out. If you'd like a reproduced copy of this broadcast, be sure to email ramstv at johncarrollhyde.com. Again, that's ramstv at johncarrollhyde.com. You can get archive footage or a reproduced copy of this broadcast and many other broadcasts all season long. So out of the timeout here in game number four, your Lady Rams on serve, up by two, against the Tigers of Martin County. Morgan Whitley with another nice serve there. And a good dig there. Swing in the middle, tip, yes! 
Ingram puts it away for John Carroll. 13 to 10, your score. Senior Morgan Whitley back to serve. Her team up by three against the Tigers, down a game, two games to one. Tip from Martin County. Scooped up nicely. Set goes outside. And just missing it, hitting it between two players. Martin County puts one away, 13 to 11, your score. Number 22 set to serve for the Tigers. Set, tip shot. Picked up by Morton County. The set goes outside now. Big swing. John Carroll point. 14 to 11, your score. Lady Ram substitution now in the game is number one. Senior Elena Garcia, we've said there's a lot of seniors that contribute on this team. And Garcia with the serve there, gets over. Tip shot, timely. Awkwardly handled, but gets over for Martin County. Set in the middle, off the block, comes back. John Carroll there to pick it up. Back line, guess who it is? It's number four, Rachel Wendell, the senior, puts another one away for your Lady Rams. 15 to 11, game number four. And that one close, looked like it might have been out of bounds, but I don't have a white shirt or a whistle, so my call doesn't count, 15 to 12. John Carroll in good position. Five points away from that mark of 20. It's Martin County set to serve. Set. Big swing. Number one, Elena Garcia. And it's another senior stepping up, putting it away for the Lady Rams. And John Carroll back to serve, 16 to 12, as you see your score. And that serve is just sailing long. And we saw this in, in game number two that John Carroll won. They sort of had a big lead as they were approaching that 20-point mark. And Martin County sort of came back a little bit, looking to put it away. Big swing there, picked up nicely by the Martin County defense. Into the middle, off the block. And it's number four, Rachel Wendell, who puts another one away. I wish I could look at the stat book now, but there's no doubt she's leading the team in kills in this matchup. Davis on serve there. Davis picks that one up, goes back to her swing. And uh, awkwardly handled, they call it out of bounds. John Carroll point, 18-13. So Davis, Mariah Davis, gets the dig and she gets the kill. She'll go back to serve. And Martin County having a talk with the officials. Thought they were a little premature with the whistle on that last rally. Davis with service. Set outside. And puts it away, number 12. We spoke about her earlier. She's been a little quiet in this game. But still, it's John Carroll's game to lose right now in good position. Up by four, just got to keep playing that same volleyball. Service. That first pass was a little awkward for The setter to handle, 18 to 15. Martin County with service. Good pass there. Set goes back door. Tip shot. And a free ball from John Carroll. 
Seko's back door now. Block there. And out of bounds, 19 to 15. Good effort there by your Lady Rams. And it's Martin County who calls another timeout. And as you see, Coach Nancy Hopper comes right into the huddle with high fives. The block making it happen for your Lady Rams. 19 to 15. And you don't want to go into cruise control now. You want to finish strong. And we've seen this in all the games except for that game number one. John Carroll has had the momentum going down the stretch. And we'll see if they can finish it off here. 19 to 15 in game number four here on Rams TV. And the fan section still alive and pumping and thriving. Here to support the Lady Rams volleyball team. Out of the timeout, 19 to 15, your Rams with the lead. Good service there. And the swing goes into the net. Here we go. John Carroll, the first of 20, up by five. We'll see if they can finish this one off and sort of tie this match up. They're down by one game to the Tigers. Here comes the service. <laughs> Set outside. Good swing dug up nicely, but it travels out of bounds. Twenty-one to sixteen, your score. Set outside, good swing. And that one sails out of bounds, Martin County point. Dug up nicely. Tip shot. Good block there by John Carroll. Set goes outside. And the swing into the net. 22 to 17, your score. And it's number four, Rachel Wendell, who goes back for service. And it just catches in John Carroll boy 23 to 17 game number four looking to tie this one up and the senior playing well all the seniors stepping up nicely for the Lady Rams here comes your service set outside and off of the block rides the net and drops down but John Carroll has played well giving themselves a little bit of cushion here 23-19 as you see your score. Martin County goes back for service. Set. Outside, swing picked up, dug up nicely by Rachel Wendell. And unfortunately that one goes out of bounds. 23 now to 19. Looking for a nice side out from John Carroll. Service picked up. The set outside. Swing off the block. And Coach Nancy Hopper going to call a timeout here as Martin County has picked up a little bit of momentum late in this matchup. It's 23-20, to 20, game number four. 
If John Carroll can get a win here, we'll be tied up two games apiece. And they've built up some momentum late in the games. And before we see a letdown, John Carroll, Coach Nancy Hopper, going to call a timeout to see if she can sort of get the team back in it. You're watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. So Coach Hopper breaks the huddle. Your Lady Rams up by three. Don't want to see a letdown here as Martin County goes back for service. Picked up nicely. The set goes outside. Good swing. Martin County keeps it in the play. That one looks like it's going wide. And 24, the 20 year score. And here it is. Game point and opportunity to tie this matchup at two games apiece. The student section comes alive as number 12, Morgan Whitley, goes back for service. Game number four on the line. Good service, picked up nicely by Martin County. Outside, oh, good dig there. Set goes all the way up to the net, tip shot. Outside, the block there, but picked up. Big swing from the back line. Oh, Martin County, good defense there. Goes into the net. Hey, Rams TV fans, we're tied up. Two games apiece, John Carroll. Takes game number four, 25 to 20. Another close one, a win nonetheless. And we're going to that all important game number five. Hang with us here on Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. I'm Richard Thomas as the captains meet with the officials. We'll be back in just a few.
Richard Thomas back here on Rams TV. And here we go, game number five. We're going to play this one to 15. Winner take all. Both teams with two, uh, two victories or two victories in this match. So uh, two games apiece for um, John Carroll and two games for Martin County. Martin County winning games one and three. John Carroll winning games two and four. And here we are, game number five, playing this one to 15. We'll see who comes out with the victory as John Carroll will go and set to serve to start this game. So a lot of back and forth between both teams. And here we go, set with service. And it's John Carroll who gets on the board first. Service there by number 12, Morgan Whitley. And John Carroll strikes first. Real important here, and it's important to note also, this game's only playing the 15 as Whitley serves that one out of bounds. Substitution by Martin County. And a little bit of miscommunication there. That second pass, for uh, those of you who don't know, you want to see the setter sort of pick up um, and make that second pass. A little interference there by one of the other players, but a big swing there from John Carroll. And an awkward set and a free pass now for John Carroll. See if they can go to work. And a block there at the net. Three to one the score. Neither team wants to see either other team. I don't know what I just said there. <laughs> but you don't want to see one team sort of pull away, uh, especially with this game going to three. And there's a big swing on the outside. That's number two, Kaylin Evans. Big swing, and she'll go back to serve. Two to three, your score. Good service there. Just getting over, go back to the mid, the block's there, but it goes out of bounds. And again, that's one of those situations. You wanna see that block go up, sort of turn back into play as it goes off the arm and goes out of bounds. Martin County back to serve their libero. Looks to be number six. Set goes outside for John Carroll, big swing. Number one, Elena Garcia, Rams point. Four, three to four, your score, only down by one. Good service there. Oh, big swing in the middle, we're tied up. Guess who it is, number four, Rachel Wendell puts another one away for your Lady Rams. The senior has been absolutely electric for the team all game long. When they needed that big point, she's been there for them. Tied up here, game number five. Free pass now, picked up by John Carroll. The set, they give it back to Wendell. Free pass again. Set, they go with the slide play. And the slide gets in for a point. I think that's the first time we've seen it in this match. And Coach Nancy Hopper goes to the bench, high fives her assistant coach. But that's the first time we've seen the slide and it's a good time to sort of bring that out of their back pocket. Good execution there by the senior. Service again with John Carroll having the lead. They go backside, goes off of the block. Free pass from John Carroll. Set goes outside. Oh, the block is there. Give it up for the John Carroll block. Who's a part of that block? Rachel Wendell puts it down and Coach Nancy Hopper Electric, excited on the sideline. And it's six to four here, game number five. Momentum definitely on the side of your Lady Rams.
So we've seen this before in the other games. Martin County, when they sort of lose that momentum, calling a timeout, and hopefully it won't hold that momentum at bay, and the Lady Rams can come out of the timeout and sort of keep up the electric, the exciting play we're seeing right now. A two-point lead, not a big lead, but a lead nonetheless here in game number five. Remember, this one only going to 15. And out of the timeout, the service sails out of bounds. And Martin County will go back to serve. Good service there. And good play at the net there by John Carroll. And caught out of position a little bit. And the point goes down for the Tigers. We're tied up. Six all. Game number five. Martin County now back to serve. Set outside. And a net violation. From John Carroll. Martin County now takes the lead. In this short game to 15, set to serve. Dug up nicely, set goes. Big swing, picked up nicely by Martin County. Free pass coming over. Set goes outside now. Tip shot. The play kept alive. And that shot goes out of bounds. The coach from Martin County looking for a tip on the sideline. Doesn't get one. They'll go have a talk to, an, to the official. And doesn't change his call. Mariah Davis now set to serve. Set outside. Oh, the block is there. John Carroll point. Eight to seven, your score. So good, exciting volleyball here on the first time we've seen the varsity team on Rams TV service there. From Davis goes down the line, but the free pass from John Carroll. The set goes into the middle, yes! Thunder, 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 Bolt gets in for a point. That's number four, Rachel Wendell putting another one down. For the Rams, beautiful set and an even better kill. And with a strong swing of her own, Martin County from the back line gets a point. Nine to eight, your score as the Tigers go back to serve. Service there, picked up by the libero. Set goes outside, going to have to bring that one back into play. And an awkward set there from Mariah Davis, making that shot a little difficult. We're tied up again, nine all. And the mark here in this game, number five, is that first person, the 10. Here comes the service from Martin County. And a free ball from John Carroll. Set goes outside, scooped up nicely. The set, tip shot, kept alive, and that shot goes into the net. And it's Sean Carroll, the first to 10. Only five more points to go here in this decisive game number five. Garcia now back to serve. Good service there from Garcia. The set goes outside. Scooped up nicely. The elements sort of bring that one back into play. Free ball from John Carroll. Set backside. Big swing off the block. Martin County picks it up. Set again. Goes outside. Tip shot from John Carroll. Missed opportunity there. Swing goes. And we're tied up 10 all.
So the John Carroll captain going to speak to the official. They were looking for a four-hit violation. They're saying that shot went off the player's head. Maybe the officials, uh, maybe uh, counting that one sort of as a tip. Not sure what they're looking for there, but we're tied up 10 all here. Five more points till we crown a victor. Picked up nicely. The set goes outside. Blocked there for Martin County. And Coach Nancy Hopper going to call a timeout. So what you don't want to see is when you go up for that block, the team sort of clumping up together, leaving a lot of exposed space or exposed court there. And the block goes completely over just about everybody on the court and drops in for a point, 10 to 11. Remember, this game five only going to 15, so every point counts here in this decisive game five. So out of the timeout from Coach Nancy Hopper, 10 to 11 your score. Service from the Tigers. Brought back in the play nicely. Tip shot coming. Miss hit and uh, wow. An awkward point, but a point nonetheless. We're tied up here, 11 all. As junior Treasure Ingram comes back in the game and going back to serve number four, Rachel Wendell. Set goes outside, and a nice kill there from Martin County, number one, 12 to 11. Martin County set to serve. Set goes up. And a timely tip from Martin County. Two point lead now for John Carroll and Coach Nancy Hopper. Gonna call another timeout. See if she can spark some life into her team. And the tip shot doesn't get it done here. We have to put balls away and we can't be apprehensive. Gotta be aggressive, gotta be confident with the swing here late in game number five. This one only going to 15, and it's Martin County who's just two points away. Your Rams down by two points. And there's a nice crowd here in the John Carroll Gymnasium. Martin County from just up the way, traveling well here. And here we go, 13. To 11, your score, Martin County on serve. Set goes, outside, big swing, tip, out of bounds. John Carroll point, 12 to 13, your score. So this one, just like most of the games in this match, tight, and this one's going down to the wire. Service picked up. Set goes outside. Big swing dug up nicely. Set goes. And the tip shot again. Got to see that coming. And it's 14 to 12. Martin County on match point. Three match points here for Martin County. Big swing there, yes! 13 to 14. John Carroll with service, but Martin County gonna call a timeout. 
the biggest point of the match happening right here. Your Rams down by just one point. You got to win by two. We're playing the 15. You got to get this point to stay alive in the match. This is what it comes down to. Exciting volleyball action here on the campus of John Carroll, Florida. I just said John Carroll, Florida. <laughs> John Carroll High School. We're here in Fort Pierce, Florida. So here it is, John Carroll with service. Set goes, and it goes out of bounds. Ooh, that was so close. So close, and we're tied up, and John Carroll gets that crucial point. Set for service again. Big swing, picked up nicely. The set goes outside. Swing dug up by Martin County. Tip shot, finally get a hand on it. Free pass. See what John Carroll can do with it. Oh! Oh! That one kind of hurt in the side. Martin County now with one match point here. Big swing off the block, yes it gets in. And we're tied up one more time. Oh man, this is exciting varsity volleyball action. 15 to 15, you gotta win by two and each team kinda tugging. Back and forth. We'll see what kind of action we get here. Oh, service stays in. Set goes back door. Picked up nicely. Ah, but it goes off of the antenna. And Martin County again gets that one point lead. Match point again for Martin County. On serve, picked up. Set goes outside, big swing, in for John Carroll point. Let's do this one more time. 16 all. Coach Nancy Hopper with a substitution in number four, Mariah Minke. John Carroll on service. Outside, good block there, and a tip. So, yeah, Martin County with the lead. Service goes out of bounds, and we're tied up again. As they say in basketball, the ball never lies, and the ball wanted to go out of bounds there. We're tied up one more time here. 17 all as Elena Garcia goes back for service. Nice deep serve there. Set goes outside, a little behind it, out of bounds. Oh, but they call a tip. Oh. If you're an avid texter and you're watching this game, you definitely just text it UGH. <laughs> that one hurt a little bit. Looked like it was going out. John Carroll with the tip. Martin County with another match point. Set outside. Looking for a big swing off the block. Picked up nicely by Martin County. Outside. Big swing, and there it is. Martin County puts it away, and they win the match. They win this game five, 18 to 17. They win the match three games to two. We thank you for logging on and watching Rams TV, the live streaming program of John Carroll High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. Your Rams. Take the Tigers of Martin County all the way to five games. We saw exciting volleyball action all match long.
And we thank you for logging on and watching, supporting our school and its varsity girls volleyball team. Archive footage available of this broadcast by going to fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll, fhsaasports.com slash John Carroll. You can watch archive footage of this broadcast. If you'd like a reproduced copy of this broadcast, just email ramstv at johncarrollhigh.com. Again, that's ramstv at johncarrollhigh.com, and you can get your reproduced copy of this broadcast today. I'm Richard Thomas. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here on this edition of Rams TV. Unfortunately, your Lady Rams volleyball team gets the loss against rival Martin County, three games to two, but they played tough. It was an exciting game for everyone here who came out to the gymnasium to watch the girls play. So again, fhsaasports.com slash um, John Carroll High School for archive footage. If you'd like a reproduced copy, just email ramstv at johncarrollhigh.com. Again, Richard Thomas signing off on this edition of Rams TV. Thank you for supporting our school and our varsity girls volleyball team. We'll see you tomorrow for varsity football action here on Rams TV. Have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com/sbp. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot. Yes. But now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. They're all going to look to make a statement early.